All right, everybody, you asked for it, and here it is, rust test number two. Now, last time around, what you said you really wanted to see was us using more premium steels. So this time, we're gonna test a VG10, 154 CPM, S30V, S35V, and H1. So the way this works is we use time-lapse photography and spray our steel repeatedly over three-day periods. Now, in our previous test, we started out using filtered tap water. This time though, we decided to use a local stream as our freshwater source, as this would be more likely what you would encounter when using your knife outdoors. Now, just for fun, we wanted to check the pH level of the water we're gonna use to find out if it's more acidic or more basic. Now, fresh, clean water should have a neutral pH of seven. Well, let's test out our stream water and see where we're at. Okay, that looks like we're right at about seven. All right, well, let's start our rust test using our fresh water. So as with our last rust test, excluding 1095 still, all of our premium stills held up against fresh water and did not rust. Okay, well, let's up the ante. It is time for salt water. Now we wanted to use a natural source of salt water instead of adding salt to tap water. Unfortunately, we live in Utah and there is no ocean around, but there is the Great Salt Lake. So we headed up there to collect some salt water, which is quite a bit more salty than ocean water. How much more salty? Well, the average salinity of seawater is about 3.5%, and the water in the Great Salt Lake runs from five to 27%. And where we collected our water, the salinity averages around 9%. Well, let's check the pH level of the salt water and see what we get. looks to be around eight, which is why it can still support a huge population of brine shrimp. Okay, well let's see what these premium steels can do against three days of saltwater spray. All right, so like last time, all of our steels formed some rust. Here are the end results and a comparison after a light wipe down. Even under our extreme salty conditions, you can see much of the rust was superficial. Overall, these premium steels were very corrosive resistant. Yeah, but if you've ever owned a knife, you've dealt with a rusty blade at some point. Not the end of the world, you can clean it up using some vinegar or cleaning solution and some steel wool. And as always, you can help protect your blades by using a lubricant such as one of these here. Well, thanks for watching and keep shopping Blade HQ. We'll see you next time. One of the things that I may have done a little bit wrong is I started at the bottom and worked to the top. So a couple times I slipped and took off all the uh, work that I'd already done. Probably have been better for me to start at the top and work my way down. So to keep my time nice and low, I didn't feel the need to carve anything. The stick had broken off in a nice sharp point. So I staked that down in the ground and twisted it and then used rocks to support it. 